Happy Wednesday, YouTube family, YouTube friends. I am back with eight work from home job leads that these companies, they need you. They are hiring immediately. So make sure that you have your resume right and let me know in the comment section which job is you going to apply for once all the way to eight. Remember, I reached out to hire manager on all of these jobs before I make videos about them, before I post them on any platforms, because I want you to get hired. And they have told me that they are hiring immediately and they need you. So you know that I get excited every time when I share my screen. Why? Because I want everybody to get a job. There is room at the table for everyone to get a job. But again, you got to do your part in order to get this job. So we're going to dive right into it. Okay. The first job is with CareCentrics. They're currently seeking care coordinator appeals to work from home. As you can see on the screen, the salary is between $17 to $22 an hour. And when we go down a little bit further, they will train you. The schedules after training will be Mondays through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And according to a hiring manager, you do not have to be in Eastern Standard Time to do this job. You can be in Central Standard Time. But the only thing is you have to be able to work Eastern Standard Time. Now, when we dive in a little bit further, you're going to provide focus, resolution, support, and information to customers by embracing care-centric value, values. You can also negotiate with providers when needed and stay within the URAC guidelines. So according to high manager, it may be a little bit foams when you're reaching out to physicians and customers only as they need to base it when you're missing information, according to hiring manager. Now, the job only requires a high school diploma or equivalent, plus a minimum of one year medical terminology or medical service experience is required. They want you to have experience in a call center environment, and you must have knowledge of basic spreadsheet, word processing, data entry skills. Remember, go to official typing test.com as well as Microsoft 365 training to learn all of Microsoft Suite for free. And then they want you to be proficient and, and feel comfortable in a computer based environment. Again, the starting pay is $17 an hour, plus you'll be getting bonus and opportunity. Uh, the pay range include the posting reflects future growth, earning, and potential. And the great thing about this company, they do have benefits like health, dental, vision, and then also they have advanced opportunity, professional skills training. This company will train you, tuition, exam reimbursement, as well as Walgreens discounts, receive up to 20% off of eligible item, items. And then if this is something you want to do, then make sure you go ahead and apply today by clicking here where it says apply for this job. This is job number one. So let me know in the comment section which job that you're going to apply for. Now we're down to job number two. It's with the, the company Apollo. They're currently seeking recruiter coordinators to work from home. This is a full-time position. And when I scroll down, I am looking for the salary. And the salary is between six to 8,000 to 99,000 a year. And that is around 32 to $47 an hour. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper about what you're going to be doing, you're going to embrace and fulfill the primary mission of their role that not Apollo candidates is ever dropped or left behind. You're going to also coordinate all of their recruiting activities with candidates and correspond with them in a warm, helpful and friendly tone, whether it be email, voice or video. OK, so you're not on the phone at all. You're going to also schedule phone screens. Well, you will be on the phone a little bit, um, according to hiring manager for phone screens, techno screens and on site interviews and help schedule the post interview meetings that follow. Now, a lot of people are having courses about on site. According to hiring manager, you're not going to be on site because you're going to be working remotely. OK, now who they're looking for someone is just basically someone to have extra communication skills, both written and verbal. You enjoy connecting with people and then you collaborate with others and want to work cross departmental to build and refine a recruiting process. And you also want to learn and grow and love giving and receiving constructive, constructive feedback. Then this is for you. OK, now when it goes down here, it's talking about it's nice to have this. If you have it, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. So that's why I'm not going over this, because according to hiring manager, we went over the job rec. If you don't have it still apply anyway, because you're going to go through some training. They're going to train you regardless if you have experience or if you don't have experience, you're going to go through some training, whether if it's two weeks, three weeks, you're going to go through some training. And if this is something that you want to do, then make sure you go ahead and apply immediately. Um, this is a remote position that can be done from anywhere in the United States. Okay. 
So if this is something you want to do, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply for this job. This is job number two. So let me know in the comment section which job that you can apply for. Now, job number three is what the company tell us international. We talked about this before, but they're hiring for a different position, which is a GO data evaluated in the United States. And when we scroll down, we're looking for the salary. The salary is $11 per hour, but I know it's low. But this is a part time job that if you have a full time job and you want to make some extra money, whether it's to pay a car note or um, build up your account, this is something that you can do. It's they're offer flexible hours, flexible schedules. You can work four hours. You can work five hours. It's just up to you. OK, so when we dive in a little bit deeper again. This is a freelance position on a flexible schedule. You could work in your in your own time. Whenever work is available, the project offers a variety of task types and work is paid per hour based on the volume of tasks completed. The volume of tasks may vary. You will be completing research and evaluation tasks in a well-based environment, verifying and comparing data, categorizing photos and videos and determine the relevance and accuracy of information provided. Another aspect of this role will involve collecting let me go back. I got to go back into it. Sorry about this. I'm going to go back to the home page because it kicked me out of it. And I'm going to type in geo again. Hold on just for a second. I'm going to put this information here. Geo data. Is it timed out? And then I'm going to hit search. And then when I hit search, this is what I'm looking for is this job right here. OK, and then we're just going to go back into it. Um, the, another aspect of this role will involve collecting verifying points of interest, which stands for POI, by providing accurate and up-to-date data based on local insight to support optimized map performance, okay? Now, when you go to the requirements, you must be fluent in both written and verbal English. You must be living in the United States for at least three years. You need to be ability to make phone calls, including as a mystery shoppers using a personal phone and our call center software to collect relevant and detailed information regarding business. Good business phone equity is vital. Headset or headphones with a microphone. Ability to complete research online using search engine, online maps and website information. You must be 18 years or over. Uh, then you must have a Gmail uh, account must be your primary email. So if this is something you want to do, then make sure you go here and apply immediately by clicking here. This is job number three. So let me know in the comment section which job that you can apply for. OK, now we're down to job number four. I talked about this company before, but they reached out to me. They have accepted a lot of applications, but they want my YouTube family, YouTube friends to get another opportunity before they make a decision. It is with the company Healthmark Group. They're currently seeking data entry, audit intake, specialists to work from home. This is full time, even though it says Dallas. Yes, you have to be in Dallas, Texas. But according to hiring manager, as long as you're in the 50 states, you're eligible to apply for this job. Now, a lot of y'all want to know how much you're going to get paid. So I always take upon myself to do research when I'm uncertain about um, the salary. And I came up with $38,443 a year. And that is around $18 an hour. Don't be scared to negotiate your salary at all times necessary. Okay. Know your worth and negotiate your salary. When we go more into details, you're going to prepare and sorting documents for dating entry. You're going to enter data into a database software and check it to ensure the accuracy of the data has been inputted. You're going to also report directly to audit intake supervisors. And then when you go down a little bit further, you're going to work quickly to meet the high volume demand. Now, the requirement is they want you to be computer literate and familiar with various computer programs such as Microsoft Office. Remember, go to Microsoft 365 training where you can learn this for free. They also want you to have knowledge of grammar and punctuation. And if this sounds like something that you're able to do, then make sure you go ahead and apply immediately. You can go right here and click right here where it says apply. Dating entry type of jobs move very, very quickly, y'all. So if this is something you want to do, make sure you go ahead and apply today. This is job number four, okay? Now we're down to job number five. It is with the company, the Hiller Company. They're currently seeking billing coordinators to work from home. It is fully remote, even though it says this location here, according to hiring manager, as long as you're in the 50 states, you're eligible to apply for this job. And what I'm scrolling is, is I'm just seeing if the salary is listed. The salary is not listed for this position. So I take upon myself to kind of research, to kind of get an ideal 
on what the salary is going to be. And I come up with $16.91 an hour. It could be more depending on your experience. So when we dive in a little bit deeper about what you're going to be doing, the billing coordinator plays a critical role in ensuring accurate and timely billing process for the service provider to their clients and sending invoice to clients. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to review Invoice for accuracy, which includes comparing information in various systems to ensure data matches. You're going to also post invoice in the accounting platform with a high level of details. And you're going to submit invoice to customers, third party portal invoice sent to invoice coordinators for submission to customers. OK. This job only requires a high school diploma or GED, two years experience in financial dating entry and our billing. You can always use Google as your friend to Google this. There's tons of videos that's going to appear and walk you through. But also, if you want to practice dating entry, go to officialtypeoftest.com and practice for free. Now, the skills that they want you to have is excellent written and spoken English language skills, excellent Microsoft Office, keyboarding, dating entry. They want you to have experience with JD Awards Enterprise, Go to Google, go to YouTube, type in that information. There are going to be tons of videos that's going to appear. They want you to have strong math skills and problem solving skills. And they also want you to be self-motivated, okay? Again, this position is fully remote. And if this is something that you want to do, then make sure you go ahead and apply today by clicking here where it says apply. This is job number five. So let me know in the comment section which job that you can apply for. Now, we're down to job number six. It is with the company World Travel Holdings. They are currently seeking product specialists to work from home. This is a full-time position. When I scroll down, I am looking to see if the salary is listed. The salary is not listed. So again, I always take upon myself to research things when I am uncertain about, you know, what the salary, just kind of get an idea of where the salary is going to be. And I come up with 46222 a year, and that is around $22 an hour. Again, it could be more depending on your experience, know your worth. Always negotiate your salary at all times necessary. So when we dive in a little bit deeper about what you're going to be doing on a job, is you're going to identify and replace solar itineraries on website promotional pages. OK, you're going to make recommendation regarding product choices for email, direct mail, third party. And then you're going to set up and maintain rate codes for promotion, no off offers and assist with any price pricing and promotional issues as needed. And the qualification is just two plus years of marketing or product experience in a fast paced organization, ability to analyze, manipulate and produce data driven spreadsheets for performance tracking, strong attention to detail and proofreading skills, cruise product and travel world knowledge preferred. That means if you have it, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. And if this is something you want to do, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply for this job online. This is job number six. OK, now we are down to job number seven. OK, it is with the company Solio um, Health. They're currently seeking reimbursement specialists to work from home. This is fully remote. And when I'm scrolling down, I am looking to see if the salary is listed for this job here. I'm scrolling all the way down to make sure the salary is not listed. The salary is between $19 and $23 an hour, y'all, for this job here. This is good money, okay? Working from home. And the schedule is going to be Mondays through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Overtime is needed. Again, it is remote, as you can see on the screen. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper about what you're going to be doing, you're going to be responsible for the preparation of accurate medical and pharmacy claims for home infusion therapy service to various payers. You're going to also monitor billing requirements to, to contracts with third party payers or government programs. You're going to address payers and electronic transmission rejections, and you're going to research refund requests received by payers and prepare refund according to foundings. As well as you're going to provide exceptional customer service to internal and external customers. According to hire manager, it is only as a needed basis. And if this is something you want to do, make sure you go ahead and apply. The requirements is basically knowledge of home infusion therapy billing practice required, knowledge of HICPIC code and medical terminology, excellent math and written skills. This job only requires a high school diploma or GED. Excellent outlook experience is required. CPR plus system experience is preferred. That means if you have it, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. And if this is something that you want to do, then make sure you go ahead and apply today by clicking right here where it says apply. This is job number seven, okay? 
Now we're down to job number eight. It is with the company Exam Works. They're back hiring. They're hiring dating entry associates. Remember, these type of jobs move very quickly, y'all. People want to do dating entry. People want to input data into the system. And even though it says they only have one job opening, according to hiring manager, they have multiple positions available, okay? Again, this is 100% remote. They want you to work Mondays through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And when I'm scrolling down, I'm looking to see if the salary is listed for this position and it's not listed. So I like to research. And this is what I come up with. It's $14.49 for this position. Again, it could be more. But that is what I came up with to kind of give you an idea of the, you know, the pay range. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to gather, organize and prepare a source document for dating entry into the pro system database, as well as you're going to enter both alphabetical and numeric data from source documents into the proper system database. You're going to follow data program security practice and procedure at all times, and you're going to maintain confidential of all personnel and financial information at all times and in accordance with HIPAA regulations. With this job, it only requires a high school diploma or equivalent. Experience in medical office preferred means if you have it, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. You must have excellent and accurate typing skills, must be able to work independently, and must be able to maintain confidential. And if this is something you want to do, then all you need to do is click right here where it says apply for this job online. I gave you eight jobs that these companies reached out to me that they need you immediately. They are want to hire you immediately. If your resume is optimized right and tailored to the job post, they guarantee you that you're going to get a job. OK, so make sure you go ahead and check it out today and go and get your job. Go out there and grab what is yours today. If this video has been helpful thus far, you know what I want you to do is hit that like button as well as I want you to comment. I enjoy reading all of your comments. I enjoy enjoy interacting with you because you're more than me than just a number. You're my YouTube family and you're my YouTube friends. And in order to build that relationship, I have to interact with you each and every day. So don't be scared to leave a comment. I will respond back. Also subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build a community where we can uplift and encourage one another on our job search. And if you want to be a part of that ride, you have to subscribe to the channel and make sure you share these videos with on your social media platform so more and more people can see what I have to offer each and every single day. Okay. Now I want to leave some encouragement words with you. Like I always do is that we're going to talk about rejection. Okay. Everybody has been rejected some part of time in their life, whether if it's you've been rejected when you fill out a job application and you get that email and say, sorry, we decided to go with somebody else. Maybe you've been rejected when you are running track and field or did some sports where they reject you in running the 400 or 800 meters. You've been rejected in social gathering. Maybe you're on a job and they invite everybody else to the, to the gathering and you wasn't invited. Maybe it could have been in your family members where you rejected, where they buy food for everybody else and they left you out. We've been rejected, okay? You're competing with other people. You've been rejected. Rejection is a part of life, but it's not the end of the world. Rejection basically builds your character. It's a life lesson. When you've been rejected, you sit back and say, okay, why was I rejected? What can I do to keep from being rejected? Learn from your mistakes. Don't go and make the same mistake over and over again. Unfortunately, a lot of people never learn from their mistakes, but a lot of people will say, look, I learned from this mistake. I, I see the reason why I've been rejected. So I'm going to learn from it and I'm going to go through the flow with it. I have been rejected in my life. I'm human just like you. I've been rejected on a lot of things with jobs. There's different jobs that I applied for and I didn't get it. I was rejected on my past jobs where um, I was working and I stayed in a company and I wanted to be promoted to another department. And I was rejected because I had the qualification, but my boss needed me. So therefore I had to stay within the department. I was upset and mad because I wanted to move on. I want to make enough money, you know, where I could provide and help my husband out and provide for the family. But my boss didn't want me to move up because he needed me. He knew that I was a good worker. He knew that I understood. I knew my job. I knew how to research. But eventually, when I went through that rejection, I said, God, what can I do to learn from that mistake and get away from the company? So instead of me applying for jobs within the company, I start applying and seeking job opportunities outside of the company and start applying for different positions. People don't realize is that 
you cannot be, you go to work to do the best that you can on your jobs. And a lot of times we're so faithful to these companies and they're not faithful to us. They will let you go in a minute. A lot of companies know two years in advance that they're getting ready to lay off. Just imagine if they told you two years in advance that this company is going to lay off. You will be preparing. A lot of people will stay, but some people will not stay. But again, even though that you're on a job, you cannot be complacent. You still need to apply for multiple positions. And a lot of times I can speak for myself. I'm on companies and making different company rich. I know a lot more than some of my supervisors and hiring managers. I know a lot. I'm training them and they make more money than me. And the first thing that come to my mind, if I'm putting all this work into a company, why come I can't put all this work in starting my own business? Just imagine if I start my own business, I could be a multimillionaire. That's why I talk about multiple strains of income. Even though that you have a job, God wants you to, he wants you to be better. He don't want you to stay average. God has a job out there for you, but he wants you to be an entrepreneur. You know, when you're an entrepreneur, you can help people that needs help, like the homeless people. You could do something for people that are living on the streets. A lot of times people are on the streets, not because they want to. Some people are on the streets because it just happened. You can do things. You can help people when you're making more money, you know, people that desire to be helped. So you have to just keep pushing in life and keep applying. You have to pray. Pushing means pray until something happens. God can make miracles. Miracles happen each and every day in everybody's life. OK, whether it's your health, whether it's going back to school, you didn't know how you're going to get a scholarship. And all of a sudden you got a full ride scholarship jobs. You didn't know how you were going to pay your bills and you end up getting a job. Miracles happen each and every day. When you get go through the life of rejection, again, it's not the end. Learn from it. Don't go through and make the same mistake over again. Let it be a learning process. If you don't get that job, make it, you know, why did I didn't get the job? You can reach out to hiring managers and see why you didn't get the job and they have a right to tell you, but learn from your mistakes. Learn, always learn and never stop learning. A lot of times people, when they get a job, they don't want to learn. They don't want to go back to school and, and get some learning or they don't want to take some free courses in order to, you know, make themselves look a whole lot better where they can appeal to different companies. They just want to stay average. That's what people want you to do is because that's what our mind is set is to be average. You know, our mind is not set to go out there and do things extraordinary, be different from your competitors, do things that people are not, that don't want to do. You know, again, don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. Let the company do it. Okay. You have to speak life over yourself because the power of the tongue determines life and death. I understand how it feels that when you get out there and you're trying to apply for jobs and you have somebody that disencourage you, you don't look the part, you don't dress the part you're not knowledgeable, you're not worthy. What they say don't matter, but what matters is what God say. And God says that I know the plans I have for you to declare the Lord, the plan to prosper you and not to harm you. And that's Jeremiah 29 and 11. God has a plan in your life. And sometimes we just don't understand why do we go through things in life? But God went through things. And if you're living for God, you're going to go through, you know, your ups and your downs. But God is with you every step of the way. He is going to provide all of your needs according to your riches and glory. But you have to believe that. OK, you have to trust the process. And I constantly tell you each and every single day, a lot of times people miss their blessing because they're around certain people that they don't need to be around. You need to surround yourself around people that's going to uplift you and encourage you every single day. And that's going to speak life over you and hold you accountable of your wrongs or, you know, you need to do this better. You need to. Um, practice interviewing and role plan. You need to apply for multiple positions every single day. You need those type of people that's going to push you because when you're around people that are average, you know, same as you, think of it as track. If you're running at 800 meters and you're running, you're practicing with somebody that's running the same speed that you're running, you're not going to get better. You got to run with somebody that's faster than you. That's going to push you. That's going to make you push you to the next level. And that's the same thing about in life is you need to be around people that is better than you are. And that's going to push you to be better. Okay. Surround yourself today 
around people that are like-minded like you, that have the same goals similar to you, that want to go places, want to do things, um, that are speaking life over you. Because again, the power of the tongue determines life and death. In life, we need peaceful people because in the word of God, it says God is not the author of confusion. He's of peace. And we need more people in this world that is creating peace. Be careful how what you say to people because you never know what people are going through. People wear their smile every single day. And behind their smile, they're hurt. They're going home crying. They don't know how they're going to make it because they can't find a job. They don't know how they're going to make it because they're in an abusive relationship. They don't know how they're going to make it because they're dealing with their kids. They're dealing with something. We're all dealing with something each and every single day of our life. And I was raised is to be careful how you say things to people because there's a saying, what goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. And people have reaped it. When you sow good seeds, good things are going to come your way. But when you sow bad things, it's not going to come your way. So be careful how you treat people. Be careful how what you say. Cheer people on. Be happy for folks that because people have jobs. Because you're you're in, you're next in line for a blessing. Your blessing is coming real soon. But you got to believe, y'all. That's all God wants you to do is believe in Him, trust Him, and trust the process. Okay. I know it's tough out there. But God is tougher. You are stronger. You got this. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep applying. Encourage yourself. Sometimes you got to look in the mirror and say, I'm encouraging myself. Sometimes you got to pat your own self on the back because people are not going to do it for you. A lot, a lot of people know that you're doing good, but they're not going to tell you that because they're scared you're going to get big headed. They, they want you to think that you're not going places in life. You're going to go places in life. What you're going through? It's a life lesson. Rejection is a life lesson. Learn from it and don't make that same mistake over again. There is a job out there specifically for you, being made for you, but you got to believe and you got to trust the process. Get up every single day with a willing mind, a willing heart, and a willing spirit to go out there and grab what is yours. God is throwing that blessing out for you, but all he wants you to do is catch it. He wants you to apply. When it, when you, when it doesn't work out, don't give up. When you fall down, don't stay down. Get up and say, today is a new day. Yesterday is behind me. Today is a new day. If this is a chance or an opportunity that God has this job for me. So you got to understand, nobody can't, you know, you can't, nobody can't keep you from your blessing. Okay. Favor is not fair. But when God has something for you, it is for you. Okay. So what I want you to do is to speak life over yourself. Keep pushing, keep applying, don't give up. You got this. You will find what you're seeking real soon. Many blessings to each and every one of you. And I pray that whatever you desire in your heart, it shall be given in the name of Jesus. Remember, go out there and grab what is yours. Don't worry about the competition, okay? Stay in your own lane and focus on you, okay? Run your race on your own time. When you fall down, don't stay down. Get, get up with class. You got this, okay? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.